FiberForce CST Cable Stayed Technology. The CST technique still requires the use of fundamental removable dentistry principles. A putty index or matrix of the denture setup should be fabricated and will be used throughout the CST procedure. Install the selected titanium temporary implant cylinders onto the final working model using the procedures recommended by the cylinder supplier. Using the putty index as a guide, mark the titanium cylinders where they will be trimmed to achieve the desired height. Cut the cylinders using your preferred method. Trim the cylinders to remove any sharp edges and to ensure any internal obstructions are removed. Ensure the cylinders are sandblasted using 110 micron aluminum oxide or Rocatec. Remove any excess powder using a steamer. Reinstall the titanium cylinders. Using calipers or a ruler, mark a position on the model 10 mm distal to the most distal titanium cylinder on each side of the arch. Using a burr, drill a pilot hole approximately 4 mm deep in each position marked on the model. Verify that the support pillars fit into the holes created. Inject a small quantity of CST pink flowable light cure resin into the hole and progressively insert the support pillar into the hole, ensuring that the hole is then completely filled with resin. Light cure the flow resin for 30 seconds and repeat the procedure on the other arch. Apply silane onto the temporary cylinders following the procedures recommended by the silane supplier. Apply one coat of FiberForce CST bonding agent to the titanium cylinders, light curing each cylinder for 30 seconds after application, or light curing all cylinders at once by placing the model into a light curing oven for between 30 and 90 seconds. Begin with the FiberForce CST 1.6 hybrid compressible fiber. Apply a drop of FiberForce pink flow resin on the lingual surface of the support pillar. Place the fiber rope on the lingual surface of the support pillar. Secure the rope to the support pillar by quickly and carefully spot tacking it with a handheld curing light for no more than 3 seconds to ensure fibers are not prematurely cured other than in the precise spot intended. The fiber rope is then wrapped 360 degrees around the buckle surface of the first titanium cylinder. Ensure the first cable run is at a low position on the support pillars and implant cylinders. Be sure to maintain slight tension of the fiber rope throughout the procedure. Continue in this manner until all of the implant cylinders and the support pillar on the opposite side of the arch have been wrapped with one continuous run of fiber rope. Spot cure the fiber rope to the support pillar. Continue applying the fiber cable to create the middle horizontal cable. The fiber rope is oriented against the lingual surface of the titanium cylinder and wrapped around each cylinder in the same manner until reaching the support pillar from which the procedure was started. Wrap the support pillar with a 180 degree turn. This time the fiber rope is brought to an approximate 45 degree angle from the support pillar back to the buckle surface of the titanium cylinder. Wrap all the titanium cylinders continuing the same technique. Wrap the last implant cylinder and again position the fiber rope at a 45 degree angle and secure with a curing light. At this stage and before the fibers are light cured, the shape and structure of the fiber cables can be adjusted as required. 
Using the 1-4 hybrid compressible fiber, the framework is now secured and reinforced by applying a stay or a stringer. The fiber rope is tacked in place on the support pillar. Begin by wrapping the fiber rope around the distal aspect of the support pillar to a buckle position using a tweezer or similar instrument. Bring the end of the rope under the bottom horizontal strand of the framework to the lingual side. Then bring the fiber rope up and over the top horizontal strand of the framework. Once again, from the buckle side, wrap under to the lingual. This procedure is continued until the horizontal framework has been wrapped from one support pillar to the other on the opposite side of the arch. Upon reaching the second support pillar, the technique is repeated back to the starting point, again using a buckle start going under the bottom strand to the lingual, up and over, crossing the first run of vertical stay or a stringer. This over under or out and back run of stringers does not need to wrap 360 degrees around the implant cylinders. It is important to maintain a crossover of the fiber rope and consistent tension as the horizontal framework is wrapped. Final adjustments are now made to the CST structure before light curing. The working model and framework are now placed into a light curing unit for two to six minutes. Next, using a burr or disc, cut the support pillars at the base of the model so that the framework can be removed from the model. The portion of the pillars left in the framework can be removed or left in place at the discretion of the technician. The framework can now be tried in mouth to confirm the passivity of fit. Once the fit is confirmed, the finished CST framework is now ready to be processed into the final appliance using the preferred processing technique.